Okay, so I picked up a 500 SE True treadmill. It's an older one, and I got it for free, so I thought, what the heck? It was heavy. The thing must have weighed 350 pounds. Got it loaded and brought it home. Had a whole bunch of metal that I wanted, but it did have a motor. Motor's a big old monster looking motor, and it probably weighs 35 pounds. It's kind of strange because it's only a one and a half horse and it's a 2800 RPM. Anyway, I got to looking at this board that came in it and I thought, now that's kind of a strange board. You know, I wonder if it might work somehow like the that MC600. So I thought, well, okay, I'll try that. It had two leads going in. And it had like three wires that looked like they might go to a potentiometer. So I thought, well, okay, I'll give it a whirl. It did have a choke. So after I moved everything that I didn't want, got just mainly the board out of it and that big old choke, it's a lot bigger than the other ones. Hang on, I'll turn it on. The only potentiometer I had was 500K, so it's way too big, but It's kind of funny that it starts up slow. I don't know whether it's because the potentiometers, 500K, it takes a while to get going. But it does get there. It had a big old monster looking metal thing on the back of it that weighed 18 pounds. I took that off. It's all got, it doesn't screw, anything doesn't screw on. It's got like, out, you know, Allen head bolts or nut things that hold it on. So I took off the one that was on the back because I didn't see any need to really have that 18 pound thing sitting there bouncing around. So if sometimes you run across a board that's basically like any of the other boards, it may not be like what you're thinking, but it's not going to be that MC2100 one. It may be like the MC 600, and if it, you know, if it's got the three little old prongs, you know, that look like it might work a potentiometer, that's kind of your first clue. It's pretty simple. Run the one wire through the choke, round through the choke, back to the motor, just like you would do the one on an MC 600. And then you hook the potentiometer up, and it works fine. Like I say, I've got some more potentiometers coming, but I just, this is the only one I had was this 500K, and I know it's way too big for this. But sometimes you can pick up one of these boards off of a different kind of a brand of treadmill, and they will work. You won't have to go buy that expensive well, buy the one off of eBay or something to make your motor run. This one does do it. And like I say, it definitely runs. If you, I have no idea what this is going to go on. It's a big old motor. But probably made in the U.S. or something. Might be a better deal. So there you go. If you sometimes take a chance on another kind of board, you might can figure out the wiring on it. I'm not an electronics major. I know nothing about it. It had several things on there that I didn't deem that it needed like it came with a big old capacitor on the top of this choke had no idea what that is you don't use a capacitor on a unless you're doing it i don't know what they put it on there for but it, it isn't used for dc power so have no idea anyway you get one of these off brand well i say off brand this one was really good they said if it was refurbished it was worth 2800 but to me, it was worth absolutely nothing because I'm not going to walk on a treadmill. So this is about my third one to play with. This one turned out good. So y'all have a good day.